An abstract Wiener space is a mathematical object in measure theory used to construct a decent, strictly positive and locally finite measure on an infinite dimensional vector space. It is named after the American mathematician Norbert Wiener. Wiener's original construction only applied to the space of real valued continuous paths on the unit interval, known as classical Wiener space. Leonard Gross provided the generalization to the case of a general separable Banach space. The structure theorem for Gaussian measures states that all Gaussian measures can be represented by the abstract Wiener space construction. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Definition. Let H be a separable Hilbert space. Let E be a separable Banach space. Let I, H E be an injective continuous linear map with dense image i.e., the closure of I H in E is E itself that radonifies the canonical Gaussian cylinder set measure γ H on H then the triple I, H, E or simply I, H, E is called an abstract Wiener space. The measure γ induced on E is called the abstract Wiener measure of I, H, E. The Hilbert space H is sometimes called the Cameron Martin space or reproducing kernel Hilbert space. Some sources, e.g., Bell, 2006, consider H to be a densely embedded Hilbert subspace of the Banach space E. With I simply the inclusion of H into E, there is no loss of generality in taking this embedded spaces viewpoint instead of the different spaces viewpoint given above. Topic. Properties Gamma is a Borel measure, it is defined on the Borel sigma algebra generated by the open subsets of E. Gamma is a Gaussian measure in the sense that F gamma is a Gaussian measure on R for every linear functional F element of E, F does not equal zero. Hence, gamma is strictly positive and locally finite. If E is a finite dimensional Banach space, we may take E to be isomorphic to Rn for some n element of n. Setting H Topic. Rn and I, H E to be the canonical isomorphism gives the abstract Wiener measure γ. Gamma. gamma n, the standard Gaussian measure on Rn. The behavior of γ under translation is described by the Cameron-Martin theorem. Given two abstract Wiener spaces I1, H1 E1 and I2, H2 E2, one can show that γ12 equals γ1 γ2. In full, I 1 times i 2 gamma h 1 times h 2 equals i 1 gamma h 1 i 2 gamma h 2 Display style I underscore one times I underscore two underscore asterisk gamma carrot H underscore one times H underscore two equals I underscore one underscore asterisk left gamma carrot H underscore one right O times I underscore two underscore asterisk left gamma carrot H underscore two right i.e., the abstract Wiener measure gamma twelve on the Cartesian product E one times E two is the product of the abstract Wiener measures on the two factors E one and E two. If H and E are infinite dimensional, then the image of H has measure zero, gamma I H equals zero. This fact is a consequence of Kolmogorov's zero one law. Equals. <laughs> Topic example: classical Wiener space. Equals. Arguably the most frequently used abstract Wiener space is the space of continuous paths, and is known as classical Wiener space. This is the abstract Wiener space with H equals L 0 2 1 0 T R N equals paths starting at 0 with first derivative element of L two display style h equals l underscore zero carrot two one zero t mathbound r carrot n equals text paths starting at zero with first derivative in l carrot two with inner product sigma one sigma two l zero two one equals 
zero T Sigma one T Sigma two T R N D T Display style Langle Sigma underscore one Sigma underscore two Wrangle underscore L underscore zero carrot two one equals in underscore zero carrot T Langle dot Sigma underscore one T dot Sigma underscore two T Wrangle underscore mathbound R carrot N mathrum D T E equals C O zero T R N with norm Sigma C zero equals sub T Element of zero T Sigma T R N Display style Sigma underscore C underscore zero equals sub underscore T in zero T Sigma T underscore math bound R carrot N and I H E the inclusion map. The measure gamma is called classical Wiener measure or simply Wiener measure. Topic. See also Structure theorem for Gaussian measures There is no infinite-dimensional Lebesgue measure